Hello again. I'm sure that during the last presidential election in the United States, we all watched with pleasure when film came to light of Joe Biden addressing a meeting of mainly African Americans at the Grace Lutheran Church in Kenosha, Wisconsin, on September 20th, 2020. Possibly in an effort to ingratiate himself with the black people present that day, he made the surprising claim that a black man invented the light bulb, not a white guy in the Edison. This caused great amusement to some of us, but it's far from being an isolated incident. In the last few years, and especially since the death of George Floyd and the enthusiasm for the Black Lives Matter movement which followed, an increasing number of inventions and innovations have been claimed as being the work of black people, which have been stolen by unscrupulous white folks so that the black person is cheated of both the credit for his invention and any subsequent profits made from it. <coughs> Light bulbs, mobile phones, blood banks, helicopters, and most implausibly of all, the internet have all been appropriated by black people in this way. I rather think that the black people making these sorts of claims are genuine in that they really believe these ridiculous fairy tales. The progressive white people who back up this nonsense though, are usually being dishonest and, like Joe Biden, have their own motives for sucking up to black people. Few people like to laugh at or ridicule such nonsense when it's being promoted by black people for fear of appearing racist. So these things tend to proliferate across the internet and also in schools during Black History Month. I think some of you would faint if you heard what children are being taught on this subject every October. Perhaps the most extravagant claim is that a Nigerian invented the internet. Philip Emiaguali is known in some black quarters as the father of the internet. I give links in the description to a few pieces which mention him in this capacity. Now, I don't want to generalise about Nigerians, but I think it's fair to say that, that the most prominent qualities of some of those one encounters are not perhaps honesty and a regard for the truth. Such a one is Philip Emiaguali. He claims to be a professor of computer science and to hold 40 patents, as well as having been described in glowing terms by all sorts of publications. None of this is true. He was uh, studying for a PhD in the United States, but Michigan University refused to grant him his degree because the quality of his work wasn't high enough. He later sued the university under the Civil Rights Act, saying he'd been racially discriminated against. He still didn't get the PhD, though. What is intriguing is that Nigerian publications are more apt to call the man who described himself as the father of the, father of the internet, called him out as a scam artist, than our people in the West. Nigerians are better able to spot such people sometimes. The so-called father of the internet can be seen in the description to this video.